on the matter of Russia's frozen assets in Europe and other places outside of, uh, outside of Russia. Back in 2022, two days after Russia's invasion, members of the G7 and the European Union worked together to freeze $280 billion in Russian central bank funds outside of Russia. I'm very pleased to share that this week, this week the G7 signed a plan to finalize and unlock $50 billion from the proceeds of those frozen assets. To put that money to work for Ukraine, another reminder to Putin, we're not backing down. In fact, we're standing together against this illegal aggression. The agreement that President Zelensky and I just signed also lays out our shared vision for a just peace, a peace rooted in the UN Charter and the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity, a peace with a broad base of support around the world that holds Russia accountable for the damage it has done in this war. We will see this vision strongly affirmed at the historic peace conference happening in Switzerland this weekend, where Vice President Harris will represent the United States. Finally, this agreement accelerates Ukraine's integration into the European and Atlantic transatlantic communities. It includes major commitments from Ukraine to impact and, and, and to, excuse me, to implement democratic economic and security reforms in line with the European Union's accession goals and NATO's programs of reform. While we take this step, the United States is also intensifying pressure on Russia. Yesterday, the U.S. Treasury Department made clear any bank anywhere in the world that deals with sanctioned Russian banks, companies, or individuals risk being sanctioned themselves. And we announced roughly 300 new sanctions on individuals and companies that are helping Russia with war effort. They include key parts of Russia's financial sector. I'll wait till it goes over. as well as individual and entities that supply Russia with items critical to, to its defense production, like, micro uh, like microelectronics, machine tools, and industrial materials, 